Hey everyone, it's Enoch's daughter Rebecca and I'm back to talk about the little cuffs and what I made out of my son Victor's sleeve cuffs. So if you've been following along, I started out with my intro and I talked about my son Victor who is 22 years old who passed away recently and about a bin of clothes that I received from him and inside of that bin of clothes were some button shirts. I made pillow covers with the buttons down the front. I left the pockets on. I made a quilt out of the sleeves that were left over from those shirts. And now I have the cuffs. Probably the last project that I'm going to be making out of these shirts. And then we'll move on to something else. So I sat and I looked at these and I thought, what can I do with these little cuffs? Well, I love hats. I have all kinds of hats. So if you know me, you know I love hats and I wear them a lot. And I found these really cool little hats inside of a gift shop in Oklahoma City when I was working at a hospital there. Just little hats. I think I paid $12 for them. You could probably get a little hat like this anywhere, TJ Maxx, anywhere, right? Um, look for that at the end of the season. So, you know what I'm making out of them? I'm making these really cool little flowers. Look, these little flowers I'm making from the cups of Victor's shirt sleeves. Isn't that awesome? And they're easy to do. You can do it. They're really fun. They're really easy. And look at it. It's all you do is keep twisting and twisting. And I put my hot glue in there and I glue it up. Now you can stitch them if you want to, but I just chose to glue them. Gluing them makes them more permanent on the hat. Just something to remember. So how do I do them? I take the little sleeve cuff here and some of them are a little bit wider than others. The red one was quite a wide sleeve. Um, a cuff compared to some of the other ones and I cut a piece off so for that one I cut maybe about three quarters of an inch off of it and to make it a little bit smaller because if it sticks out too much it's just too much for me I like it to be a little bit flatter on the hat if it becomes too long you can take your scissors and I'm gonna have to kind of maneuver around this button here I left the buttons on you can take your scissors and you can cut off the end to make it a little bit shorter which works out a little bit better now, as you're twisting them and as you're looking at this, some really cool stuff happens, right? Uh, this one here has some ink stains on it because my son Vic fixed um, copy machines and so he had ink all over his clothes sometime. Kind of hard to get out, but on the edge of the cuff, there it is. I like it there. If you don't like it there, that's okay. That's okay. Um, yeah, so all you have to do is take your cuff and just start twisting it. Now, as it rolls over, that's really cool. That's going to give you more of a petal look. So just start twisting and rolling and rolling and rolling and rolling and let it do what it wants to do. I take my glue, I put a dab of glue in there and I keep rolling, keep rolling and keep rolling. And then pull it over, keep rolling. And as you see, your fold is going to become more and more, which is going to give it even a better effect that makes it look like a flower. And I just put a little pinch of glue here and there if you want to stitch it. Like I said, you can stitch it. Stitch as you go. And there we are. Right to the end. I have a little flower. Watch this. This is an awesome thing. These little cups inspired me to create a beautiful hat to wear with my son on them. Look at that. So that's, that is so awesome, right? It's a little flower. So... All I do is I look at the hat and I put placement, I move it around, put placement a little bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. The band on here is just part of his shirt. It was the upper part of one of his shirts that I was using. And then there they are. Whoops. There they are. There they are. So now they have some hat here going on, right? You just put your hat on. Now I have this hat that has all of this wonderful stuff on the back of it. And I'm going to turn around for you so you can see it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so be inspired. Um, you know, don't be afraid to do things. I, I'm not afraid to try things. I try them all the time. Um, one of the th last things my son said before um, he wasn't conscious anymore to his friend who was with him hiking that day, um, he said to her, today is the day to conquer your fears. And you really need to. You need to conquer your fears. It's okay to try new things. Don't be afraid, you know, don't be afraid. What's it gonna hurt? It's not gonna hurt anything. Uh, when people ask me about doing things and I can't do them like you, you know what? You you can't do them like me at the beginning and maybe you can. I was an, not an expert at the beginning of anything that I've done. 
I was a beginner, as all of us are. All of us are beginners the first time we try something. You do it over and over as trial and error. That's how I become an expert. And that's how all experts in their fields became an expert. But everybody starts at the beginning. So go out and be inspired. Try something. All right. Uh, see you next time. Take care.